why college is the biggest scam out there. Real simple, let's get into it. Okay, so we know this, that growing up, at the time of shooting this video, I'm 35 years old. So I remember growing up and being in situations where everybody was like, go to college, go to college. You have to go to college. You absolutely have to go to college. What do you want to do in college? What college do you want to go to? It seemed like the only route. It seemed like the best route to go. And that's what I'm sure most parents want for their kids. They want their kids to be able to be financially stable. Now with me, I'm a college dropout now, by the way, and I run a, a six figure online business. It worked out for me. But at the time I went ahead and I got a scholarship, about 75% scholarship to the University of Central Florida. And I dropped out about a year and a half to two years into it. I got lucky. Now I know some of you might be out there watching this right now with what we call, I'm gonna bring this up on the screen here. I'm gonna attempt to, right? I'm trying to make this as simple as possible, but it might work, it might not, but let's put it up on the screen here. Lots of debt, an enormous amount of debt. So what's crazy to me is that you're 18, 19, 17 years old, and most people at that age, most kids at that age, don't have any financial know-how. I know I didn't. And you know what's funny? Is that I don't remember not one time in all of the years of schooling did we talk about money. It just was not talked about at all. What school do you go to where in elementary, middle, high school, they're teaching you about balancing a checkbook or managing your finances or how your living expenses shouldn't exceed more than 30% of your annual or your monthly income, right? Where you should keep your debts low uh, or even using debt to create more income, right? There's all kinds of avenues. That's why there's all these, this is a multi-billion dollar industry around debt and, and money and all that stuff, right? Financial know-how, none, not one, but you will learn how to do calculus and you damn sure will know how to do some geometry and learn about some shapes. <laughs> so you're going into this situation. You're coming out of high school. Let's say this is the timeline. This is high school. High school. This is you. Yay, I graduated. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I got some big ears. Little neck. Need to hit the gym. All right? That's you right there. Yay. Happy. Guidance counselors, family, everybody telling you, go to college. What college do you want to go to? It's this big event. I mean, I live near one of the biggest colleges in the country. I see it all the time. Every year when new students come in, I'm just like, damn it. Oh, this is a freaking casino over here, man. We're just making a killing. You, Joe, you don't have the money. You don't have what it costs for a degree. $40,000 plus for a four-year degree, okay? That you got to pay for it every semester. Your name's Joe, and you need to go get what? financial aid, which is a fancy term for a loan, low interest loan. Nonetheless, it's a loan. So now this loan is going to be 40K plus, easy, 40K plus for four year degree, maybe 50K, 60K. I want you to ask yourself something. And this is something I realized while I was going to school and, and doing the classes, paying the money, working my butt off to be able to accomplish this. And I sat there and I told myself, why am I doing this? When I had my epiphany moment, right? With a moment where, you know, the curtain opens up and you see what's back there and you're like, what the hell's going on? I was working at Walmart, going to school at the same time. Walmart was my first job. I'm working there. There was this guy that worked there, right? And he was about 24, 25, and I was 17 at the time, right? 18 going into college. And I realized, we started talking about money, and I realized that I was making about 50 cents less than he was making. And he had been working at Walmart for about four years. And I said, wow, really? It was a shocker to me. Said, how, are you, how are you not making more? He goes, yeah, man, well, you know, it's just the way this company is, uh, and my degree's not paying off.
Excuse me? Excuse me? So I said, hold on, a degree elaborates. He goes, yeah, you know, I went to the college up the street, big, big school, right? UCF, giant school, got a four-year degree in communications and can't find a job for it. I mean, at that point in time, everything changed because you kind of saw the ugly underbelly of things where you grow up all the way up until this point and you're being sold this dream. You're being sold this dream that college equals high paying job, high paying, secure job, which equals awesome life, <laughs> not okay. Awesome life. That's how it's pitched. And let's not BS it. That's how it's pitched. The dream. You may be out there right now. You know what I'm talking about. You got your degree. You're paying enormous amounts of debt after everything's done, right? They let you postpone it and keep pushing it back until uh, you have your degree as if it's some kind of like, okay, you got your job and you're making money now, right? The average income in the United States is around $50,000 a year, around $50,000. That's what people live off of, the average income. Like I said, most loans are $40,000 plus. And forget if you go get your master's and everything. Now you're pushing 70, 80, 90 K. So let's talk about how it's wrong to be able to give somebody that is 17, 18 years old with the no financial know-how, the ability to go get a loan that's $40,000 plus when you can't even get a car worth that much money at that age. A car, can't do it. You know what the banks are gonna say to you? They're gonna say, uh, you don't have anything else near that amount of money that you've paid off before. So we can't trust you. But the school system, college will gladly do it and then within the normal school system the public school system this is pitched consistently when you get older let's say you're younger right and for my people that are you know out outside of college or they're in their 30s right or they've graduated already they know the only real way to get to the point where you make significant amount of income where it's unlimited is to be an entrepreneur have your own business unless you go into some high paying profession I'm, I'm a big proponent of that if you're going to go to school do it something technical right go become an electrician a dentist something technical nonetheless if you become a dentist Usually you're you're working under somebody as an apprentice and then you open up your own practice. So now you're a business owner. Real simple. This country is built off businesses. It's capitalism. It's a capitalist country. So who benefits the most at the end of the day? It's the businesses. So you going to school and paying and, and going and getting a forty to seventy thousand dollar debt to potentially maybe if you're lucky get a job that pays you 50k a year no guarantees i'm in the i'm in the coaching space so i teach people how to build online businesses and, and i hear it a lot what's your guarantee what's your guarantee i have one but what's your guarantee what, what am i guaranteed if i spend you know a few thousand dollars what am i guaranteed but when you're spending 40 to seventy thousand dollars what are you guaranteed you know what you're guaranteed? A piece of paper with some kind of seal on it that says, you know how to study and take tests. Because that's how employers look at it, right? I've hired people in the past, right? It's, that's what it looks like. And it's not as valuable as it used to be because so many people have it. So now you can't just go get a four year degree. You got to go get the master's degree. And after the master's is the, the doctorate. And you got to, hey, I have clients that I work with that have doctorate degrees and hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt. And they come to me to learn how to build an online business to replace that debt because their doctorate degree, they can't find a job that pays them enough to survive.
but you still owe that debt. And it's the one debt you can't go bankrupt on, so you can't escape it. There's no escaping it. It's not a car, a house, foreclosed, da -da -da -da. you don't go bankrupt, let me start over. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is life. You're stuck with that one. So my point is you better be sure you know what you're doing. There's people that take a couple years off. Hey, let me take a couple years off and feel it out and go get a job. And everybody handles that. What do you mean you're gonna take a couple years off? That means you're gonna get a couple years early. And da -da -da -da. Take a couple years off and figure out what you wanna do. And really think about that. Don't believe me, look it up. I'm not making this stuff up, look it up. I, I, I got out lucky. I got out lucky because I've been coaching for a long time. I've been making money online for a decade now. I haven't had a job. I've been coaching for half of that. Okay, helping people make money online. And I've talked to a lot of people on the phone and the situations are very, very similar. I have college debt. I have school debt. I wanna pay down my debt. I wanna pay down my debt. I wanna pay down my debt. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out like, why are you coming to me? You got a college degree. What college promises is money. It's, it promises a high paying, secure job and then an awesome life. Negative Ghost Rider. Negative. I hope this video was informative. My name's Luke Cameron. I'm the founder of Own Your Life, which is a company that helps people essentially give the middle finger to living a mediocre life. It's your life, own it. I do run a coaching program. If you're interested, uh, somewhere down there, there'll be a link to you know a free training application. It's very exclusive, but if you're somebody who's really serious, take your shot at it. And we can see, we'll hop on the phone and see if we're a good fit. Other than that, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video.